Hey, uh, it's a lie. It's all a lie. Nothing's real. Nothing is real. I, I, I completely lied to everybody. I'm so sorry. I'm not quitting. I'm not in the way you think. I'm not quitting in the way you think, but in the way I think I'm quitting. Okay. Now, as much clickbait as it is, as, as clickbaity as it is, it's not clickbaity. But it's a little clickbaity. Because, like, I'm not quitting YouTube. Obviously, not quitting YouTube. What I am quitting is my job, kind of. Not really, but kind of. Because right now, well, like, as of yesterday, I was full time, you know, Monday to Friday, 40 hours, you know, the, the typical work schedule. As of today, I am now part time, only a few days a week I'm working, and the rest of the days I'm devoting more to YouTube and streaming and all that stuff. Uh, crazy. So I guess I am quitting in a way. I'm quitting my full time job to go to part time, so not a lie. Still very clickbaity, but not a lie, <laughs> and that's all that matters, I think. Uh, but yeah, so that that's really what's going on. I, I kind of wanted to take this time just to talk with you guys, just so we can kind of figure out what that means for the channel and, and what that means in general. Obviously, there's some Isaac going on in the background. I kind of I can see it going on. I, I'm not going to comment too much on it because I played it beforehand. I'm not playing it now, obviously. If I was while talking to you straight in the eyes the whole time, that would be crazy. That would be wild. Also, Milo is here. If you hear a meow every now and then, it's his own fault. Uh, but my idea here is really... I, it's gonna be unedited. It's gonna be unedited. I'm just gonna talk to the camera. I'm just gonna talk to you guys I just want to be real with y'all so y'all can understand where I am and who I am and where I'm at uh, And I feel like it gives us you know parasocial relationship. I feel like it It's perfect, uh, but I know a few things I wanted to talk about I threw down on my phone. So don't mind me uh, But yeah, so what does this mean exactly for my channel going forward? Obviously before I had one video is going up a, um, one video going up a week while I was working on it after I got off my job. So Monday to Friday, I work nine to five, sometimes a little after, sometimes a little earlier, but most of the time a little after. And then after that, I would take a little break and then I would start working on videos. Now, since I don't really have to do that so much, where like I have basically a few days a week where I can devote even more time to doing video stuff, I obviously won't be as crunched to make sure I get at least one video out a week. Uh, so obviously the plan still is gonna stay the same with I believe one video a week. Now, this may change going forward, because I know there's a lot of Isaac channels out there that go out there and, you know, do daily runs of Isaac and do stuff like that, which is great, which is fantastic, that's their thing. I don't really want to get into that realm of doing Isaac stuff, because I was thinking, like, obviously, since I have more time now, it would be easier for me to pump out more, just, I say generic, I don't mean generic, but, like, normal runs of Isaac. I could obviously pump those out a lot easier since I have this time. But I feel like if I do that, that's not really the focus I want to go on with my channel. Because if I start doing that, the majority of my videos that I'm going to be posting are those kinds of videos. And I don't think those kind of videos kind of reflect what I really want to do with my channel here. Which I'll get into next. Uh, but really what I want to do with my channel... Milo, listen, you can't hear him. <laughs> uh, but really what I want to do with my channel here is... Is continue posting the more unique Isaac stuff. Like... The quiz shows, I want to lean heavily, heavily into that. I know a lot of the quiz stuff I'm doing is really reliant on who I can get to be in the quiz. I know I already had uh, Matt Murderous, who is a, a smaller Isaac creator who helped me start it out. Uh, then we went to Lazy Matt Man, a bigger Isaac creator, 200,000 subs, still crazy I got him on the call. And somehow I even got huts for the last quiz, which I uploaded last week. If y'all didn't see any of those videos, I recommend y'all go check it out. I'm assuming everyone did. They're, they're, I am very proud of those videos. It, they take a lot of time to make, so I, I very much enjoy that everyone else enjoys watching it. I I appreciate you guys appreciating me appreciating you, you know? <laughs> uh, but I want to lean more heavily into doing stuff like that. Now, I know I don't want to only do the quiz videos. I know the quiz videos do, every, do very well. The quiz videos do very well. But I don't want to have my whole channel focused around doing only the quizzes. Even though I know they do well, I know I can only have a finite number of guests before I guess it gets very repetitive and I have to kind of start double dipping or triple dipping or quadruple dipping into some of the categories I've been posting on the quizzes. I know there are already some categories that I've been doing for everyone, which I, which I do think is okay. But if I do it often enough, I do feel like I will run out of things to quiz people on. So I want to like take my time, make sure whenever I do make the next quiz, it's with somebody I think would be really cool for y'all to see take the quiz and would kind of test me in terms of how to present the quiz. Because I know obviously the quizzes going forward, I want to add more and more things. 
but there comes a challenge with that to making sure the equations aren't over complicated if that makes sense uh so that's, that's kind of like i have to draw the line in the middle as to how confusing i want the quiz to be versus how just fun in general in general i want it to be because i feel like if, if there's too many things i add in the quiz then it kind of takes away from the enjoyment of it so i need to keep it kind of simplicity while keeping a few twists every here and there to kind of keep people coming back and watching them besides just the unique guests that are coming on um now going forward obviously quiz stuff great the other kind of content i know i've been making before is like tier list videos which i i know they do very well Again, I don't think that's specifically me who makes the quizzes very well. I think people just want to see that kind of content and they don't really care who makes it. Um, now, obviously, I know they do well. I want to keep making some quiz or some tier list videos. Obviously, there are, are literally a finite number of tier lists I can make for Isaac. There, are, I will run out and I am slowly running out. I have a few ideas of what I want to do next and then next and then one after that. But the biggest idea I have for the next tier list videos, obviously, it's not going to be here for a little bit. Because one thing I'm waiting on for, well, I want to make an item tier list, obviously. If y'all saw the trinkets tier list, that was two and a half hours long, a little over that, with 180-ish trinkets. Now, imagine 718, 19 items. That's going to take literally years, not, not literally years, but a long-ass time for me to put together and to, I guess, create. So, obviously, not going to come anytime soon. But it is going to end up going out eventually. But I do have a plan to go alongside that because I don't want to make that like my other tier lists in the way that it's really just me going through and ranking the items. I feel like something really cool that I could do is collaborate with a whole bunch of different Isaac YouTubers. This is so, this is going, this is spoilers. This is big fucking spoilers, okay? I don't really care. I like talking about my ideas and getting y'all's opinion. If I keep it to myself, then like people aren't going to get hyped for it. I don't know. It, whatever. My idea here, nobody take it. If you steal it, it was my idea, everyone pointed, don't, don't like shame them, but like, be like, Matt thought of it first, you can't do that. Anyways, the idea here is obviously a big collaboration. My idea is to kind of do like what, I, what I'm doing for the quiz videos, where I get people to hop on the call, I talk with them, and instead of doing a quiz video, maybe I can section off like pieces of the item list, like items 0 to 100, 101 to 200, and stuff like that. And for each like little category of items I have, I get another Isaac creator, to hop on a call with me and help me rank those items and then i go to the next section i get the next creator and they give their opinions on those items and at the end of the day we'll have maybe six or seven different people hopping on the call helping me rank the items all individually mind you i don't want to have seven people on the same call at the same time that would be horrendous in terms of being able to talk uh so i think one at a time would be perfectly fine and i can like cut it together and all that stuff but i do think that would be a fantastic idea and very fun Obviously, the problem is the idea is that for that to be on my channel. And I need to obviously reach out to people to see if they would be down for that idea in general. Because I know a lot of people have made tier lists or can make tier lists on their own channel. So what is the point of them to come to my channel and do this idea besides helping out me? So obviously, I need to provide some kind of benefit to these other creators so they have more of an incentive to help me out with mine. So that will take time to do and will take time to make. Please don't bug any creator about this. I will reach out on my own time to get this all figured out and sorted out. That is my general idea. Don't shoot me if that doesn't end up happening, but that's kind of what I want to go towards. And one thing I am waiting on for the item tier list is I do know Ed, and I believe Tyrone have, had mentioned in the past, that there is going to be at least one more uh, smaller item update video. Or, I'm sorry, uh, another Isaac update of the item. It's not a video, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, but the items are going to supposed to be updated one more time. At least to have a few buffs here and there so i want to kind of wait for that to happen too before i set anything in stone and start reaching out to people because obviously i need to set up everything i need to do for the quizzes as in the formatting of how i want to rank things uh calling people and, and making or messaging people to see if they're even down to do so and kind of scheduling that out and that will take a long time to do uh but i, I do want to wait for the update of the items to happen first just because whenever that does happen i feel like people are going to be more interested to in seeing uh an updated tier list and i feel like if i push out a tier list like that now then it's going to be kind of redundant not redundant but like irrelevant after that update comes out because it will just be outdated so i think it's better just to wait until it happens and i'll start reaching out and kind of figuring stuff out from there that was a long rant about my plans for the videos but i mentioned okay quiz stuff tier list stuff uh what else is there nothing else really i have some unique and stupid ideas i know i've been streaming a lot more i guess i do want to mention not a lot of people who watch my youtube know i stream uh, but hey, if you want to come check out a stream, uh, links down below. 
I do stream mostly Isaac, but I do like to do different things as well. I like to, I don't know. Uh, maybe if I'm smart, I'll put a clip of myself here doing something stupid. Uh, but I don't just play Isaac. I try to be more funny and just try to have fun. It's whatever. It's a chill vibe. If y'all want to come check it out, crazy. I, I multi-stream on YouTube and Twitch. So up to you if you want to watch it. I, I kind of stream most nights. Um, well, I say most nights. That's one thing I want to get into as well. So for the few of y'all that watch the stream, you know I don't have a schedule for when I stream. And one thing I meant to do before I started recording this is figure out what the heck my schedule is uh, so I can put it on the screen. Uh, so, hey, I don't know what my schedule is right now. I'm definitely thinking of streaming a few times a week. Uh, I definitely know I most likely is going to be Wednesdays, probably Fridays as well, and maybe one or two times over the weekend, and maybe on a Monday or Tuesday as well. Again, my main focus is still going to be focusing on YouTube videos and creating YouTube videos, so I need to work out my schedule for streaming kind of separately from my YouTube stuff. So whenever I have free time from the YouTube video, I will be streaming on Twitch most likely, but again, I just want to make sure my main focus stays on YouTube because I feel like if I focus too much on the Twitch stuff, then that'll pull away from my main, I guess, place where people watch my stuff, which is still YouTube. So that's the main plan there. Uh, hey, if I'm, in future me, if I have an idea of a schedule of what I want to do and when I'm going to stream, boom. I don't know which way I'm on the screen, but look above me, there's or some to the side of me, there's probably a schedule of when I'm going to be streaming. So that would be sick. If y'all want to come check me out, give me a follow. It, come check it out. If you like the, if you like the vibes, stick around. If not, I get it. Uh, but what else am I doing? Oh, so I guess a big part of going part-time, obviously, with my normal job and going part-time with YouTube stuff is a layer of stress and relief, if that makes sense. So obviously, I will ha I'll be having a lot more time to work on video stuff, which in theory should take off some stress I've been having more recently about making sure I get a video out a week and making sure it's a fun idea and, and just doing stuff like that. I haven't had that much stress about it, to be honest. I, I think I've had a lot of time to work, not a lot of time, but like, I've sectioned out the time I needed to work on the videos appropriately where I haven't been too, too stressed when pumping out some of the videos. Now, some of these videos take a long time to make. Like the quiz video with Huts, that took a long time to kind of get the picture together in my mind of what I wanted to do and the categories and the questions I wanted to do. And then I needed to physically put it together. And then I needed to get Huts on a call. And then I needed to quiz him. And then I needed to edit that all down and add in all the little edits I needed to make. And that took a while. Uh, now, being honest, it took around two weeks with me working on it basically every day, which is a long time. <laughs> Uh, which is fair. I mean, for a, for a big video like that, it's very understandable that'll take more time than others. But obviously that took two weeks because I was working the nine to five job Monday through Friday. But now since I don't, well, since, now since I have some more time available, I should be able to be a little less stressed in terms of the timeline I place on myself or things like that. Now, obviously my goal here at the, at the, at the end of the day is to make sure I have a video out a week guaranteed. So I want to kind of have like a backlog and a catalog of videos I can post every week without making the video the week of. Because right now I'm, it's, what, what is today? What is today? Today is February 1st. I'm recording this February 1st. I'm going to be posting this February 2nd. Now, listen, I'm a little behind. I'm a little late. I should have recorded this the other day. Oh, but I didn't, okay? Now I'm here. <laughs> but the, the point of this is, is I wanted to make sure I have enough time to do the things for the videos that are important and I need to make sure those get done on time. And now that I have more time to do things, it should help me out, get a little less stressed, making sure I have the time to do the things I need to. Now, obviously the, the other part of that is where I'm adding some stress onto myself. Because obviously from going full-time in my job to part-time in my job, I'm getting less paid. Like I'm getting paid less, less money, less money, more problems, right? Uh, so obviously the income that comes with YouTube and streaming and making videos, I'm a smaller creator right now. I don't make a whole lot. And that's, I guess that's not the issue. Right now I have a, lot, a bunch saved up, so I, I'm fine right now. But I just know the income levels are very, it's, it fluctuates a whole lot, especially on YouTube, depending on how much the advertisers you wanna pay per people watching our videos. I, I don't know how well this is going to be for me, right? That's why I didn't like completely cut off my job and go full time in YouTube, just because I know the pay isn't isn't sold, isn't there. I know with the corporate job I had before, obviously I will always get this set sum of money at the end of every two weeks or whatever, end of the month, whatever it was. But I know with YouTube, it's it's not guaranteed. Videos can bomb, people can stop watching my videos. I could get into controversy. I don't know, I don't think I will be. Hopefully I won't. Cut to this clip of like a month later and I'm fucking dead in a ditch or something. I need to like not cuss or say I'm dead in a ditch. I'm not gonna cut this out, but like, Y'all know what I'm saying, right? 
Okay, what else was I gonna talk about? Uh, I talked about videos once a week. That's still gonna be a thing. I know I mentioned it before, but videos once a week. If I feel like I'm, in, I'm getting in a good rhythm, which I think will take a bit of time for me to get used to, uh, I will maybe potentially post more than one video a week, or maybe I'll post one more edited video a week and maybe one kind of normal Isaac video every other week, every two weeks, or maybe every week. I'm not too sure. Um, but the idea is right now, keep it to one video a week until I'm more comfortable with how things are going, and then I'll move it up from there. That, that's the general idea. Okay. Uh, oh, dude, I wanted to bring this up. Not relevant to my channel at all, but have y'all figured out how to get your own insurance? That fuck, that, that shit's a scam. It's a scam. Like, it's required. I, I live in the U.S. Okay, it's required to get some kind of life insurance or something like that or health insurance, whatever it is. I don't care. I, I try to get that set up because right now, obviously, since I'm going part-time, I'm losing the, the benefits I have in my previous job since I'm now part-time instead of full-time. So I lose the benefits. Happens. I, I got it. Uh, so I was going to get my own insurance. Yeah, in uh, it's such a it's such a difficult thing to do. They make it it's so it's required, but they make it so difficult for you to get the insurance. Just give me the thing. I'll give you the money. I don't care. Just make sure I don't get arrested. It's just listen. I just had to complain about it for a second while people were listening to me. Okay, U.S. government, if you're listening to me, I I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. <laughs> okay, what else is there to do? Uh, more interesting streams besides just Isaac. I kind of went over that already. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Oh, yeah, so other ideas I have not just for YouTube videos I know I mentioned before about like unique ideas, but I didn't really get into the ideas of what those were I didn't really get into what the unique ideas are uh, The idea there is maybe well. I have a whole list here here is Obviously I want to be streaming more and the idea behind me streaming more is the idea to obviously convert that into a YouTube video of some sort So a few ideas I had I'm gonna list them off I don't, I, this is, this isn't things people haven't done before. So they're not super unique, but I do think they would be fun to do. Uh, one of them here, uh, like 24 hour streams or like not subathons, maybe a subathon. I don't know, but like a, a thing where I stream for a long, stupid time, trying to do one stupid task, like trying to finish up my dead God file and I don't stop and or I don't stop streaming until I do. I'm not going to do that anytime soon. Cause I'm nowhere close to getting dead God on my third file, but maybe when I'm closer, who knows? Uh, what else do I got? Subathons. I already mentioned that maybe some kind of charity event which I think would be really cool. It's kind of in the back of my mind to do some kind of thing with charity. Since I now actually have an audience to talk with and to raise stuff for, I do feel like it would be very cool to do something nice for the community besides just, hey, here's another tier list, boys, you'll like it. But I feel like using my audience for something good, like some kind of charity event would be really nice. I know people have done it before in the Isaac community, uh, but I feel like tipping my toe in there would be kind of cool as well. I have no idea how to do it or where to even start or what the idea would be, but I feel like having that idea in general would be very cool. Uh, what else is there? Uh, bu, bu, bu. oh, just other streaming ideas. So other streaming ideas I have. I listen. They're just they're just fun, stupid ideas. They may turn into videos. They may not. It, one of my early streams I did maybe a few months back. Uh, I say a few months back. It was literally like a month ago because I only started streaming a month ago. What am I talking about? But anyways, I had a stream like a month or so back where I played like Isaac fan games like on itch.io. They have like a there. Those are all like user created games and user submitted games. So I went in there and played like a whole bunch of Isaac knockoffs or just like fan made games of Isaac. A bunch of them very cool. The idea behind that stream was to turn it into a video. But since that was done such a long time ago, I don't know if I will end up creating that into a video. But again, the idea behind the streams are to make it into videos, but I don't want to like stress myself out if they don't. Which will happen just like it did back then. So if y'all are curious about that one, I have a, a playlist of my live VODs. Uh, it's somewhere in there. Y'all can go check it out. Maybe I'll link it here. I may be kind of lazy. Who knows? Uh, what else is there? Sorry, I'm looking at my phone. Look at the Isaac stuff while, while I'm looking at this. Uh, uh huh. More interesting streams. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Content still going to be Isaac on the channel. Yeah. So the main focus channel, the channel, is still going to be Isaac. The name is still another Matt playing Isaac. The playing Isaac part is probably the important bit. Uh, what else do I got? No. Oh. Yeah. So I guess with that being said, obviously the plan still is to stay with Isaac content. But. But, 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 if I start doing more streaming stuff and turning the streaming things into videos, would y'all be interested in seeing other kind of content besides Isaac? I know mainly people are subbed here for the quizzes, for the tier lists, and less so for the normal Isaac runs. And therefore, I feel like it's more about the content I put out rather than me as a person myself, which is perfectly fine. I do like my content as well. Uh, but I feel like my content is more around the ideas I'm having around Isaac rather than my personality with Isaac. 
Because anybody could be hosting these quizzes, in my opinion, or doing these tier lists. It's just how I'm formatting the quizzes and doing the tier lists that make it more unique to my channel. But again, anybody could have that same kind of formatting I do. And the personality I have doesn't really mix in too well with... The personality I have doesn't really... I don't know. It's, it's not as important to me, I think, as the the way I'm formatting the, the, the videos I'm doing. That That's my two cents on the matter. But would y'all be interested in seeing other kind of stuff? I mean, maybe so. I know people I've asked before about having a second channel or something like that or just having some separate kind of content besides Isaac. But I mean, I haven't really heard the large majority of people mention that at all. And I do know if I do end up making a second channel, that is just more time I need to devote to making and editing other kinds of videos that I don't even know if people will enjoy watching. So right now, my idea is to keep that stuff maybe just to streaming. And if people are interested, maybe I'll turn it into a video or two and see how it does. And then kind of gauge it from there. But if y'all have any kind of interest in anything like that, it, let me know. I'm very active in my Discord. Discord plug. Uh, listen, if y'all aren't in my Discord, go join it below. Uh, it, 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 shit, shit's rad. Uh, so what else do I got? Okay, and one thing I wanted to mention, kind of off topic, now that I'm mentioning my Discord. Uh, there is a dude, uh, Flank. Flank, you damned me yesterday. My bad. My, okay, what happened for everybody? It only I'm talking to one person, but to get everyone else up to speed here, Flank, I don't know if you're watching this video or if you like watching my not Isaac quiz content, but if you are, I'm talking to you directly. My bad. <laughs> what happened is he, he DM'd me yesterday on Discord. Uh, or he, no, no, first of all, he joined my Discord yesterday. He immediately did not read the rules of the Discord and DM'd me directly, which I guess in theory, not the end of the world. I would prefer people do not DM me directly just because if I let everybody do that, then it, my DMs will be flooded and I'll never be able to talk with my normal friends that I talk to on Discord. Which is another problem in it, in, in, in it of itself. But what I did was probably a stupid thing. I didn't like, obviously I didn't cuss him out or anything like that. If he like shoots up, if he if he posts like a DM of me and I get canceled because I blocked him, my bad. <laughs> Yesterday I was dealing with some stuff like, that's my bad. <laughs> I was figuring out the insurance stuff I was, I was talking about earlier alongside stressing about making this video specifically because I didn't know how exactly I wanted to format it. Uh, which I figured out, I, I figured it out eventually. Obviously, I'm doing it right now. Uh, but because of my the, the stress I was having, I, some guy immediately joining my Discord, immediately not reading the rules, immediately DMing me. I was just like, okay, listen up. I'm just gonna block the guy. I'm gonna time him out for a week on my Discord. Mind you, I didn't ban him on my Discord. I timed him out for a week. In hindsight, a long time. Maybe I didn't need to do it for a whole week. But listen, you didn't read the rules. It's not my fault. And any, any mod could have banned you. I could have asked somebody to ban you too. Uh, but I did. We didn't ban you. I didn't ban you because I didn't think you needed to be banned. I just kind of blocked you so I would stop getting your messages. Because one thing I hate is like irrelevant or kind of it's kind of relevant. But I hate it when people send a message. They say like hi. They wait like two minutes for you to respond. You don't respond. They say like what's up and then like and they like they don't do one big message. They do very piecemeal messages. So Flank ended up sending me seven messages on Discord and I got seven notifications one after the other. Listen, listen, when you're not supposed to be DMing me, DMing me once, okay, whatever. I can take a look at it and then I'll either ignore it or I'll respond, which is fine. Most of the time I respond. Most of the time I respond. Yesterday was a bad day for me. <laughs> uh, but he messaged me seven times. Listen, Flake, I tried to give you the benefit of the doubt. I, I heard, I saw you say yo. I was like, okay, whatever. I ignored the message. And then he kept messaging me, kept messaging me. He's like, okay, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll just time him out for a little bit here. But to be fair, what, he, what Flank did had to say, he wasn't being mean. He was actually being very nice. I don't have the messages to pull up here because apparently whenever I think he deleted a message or like whenever I blocked him because I was a little angry at the time, uh, the, the messages go away. So I can't show it. So I don't have proof. But just like I'm telling the truth. You you to camera, me to camera. Truth. 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 This is truth. What he said. I, I can't do and I quote, but he said something like, yo, really good job on the videos. Love your stuff. Something like that. He was being very nice. Right, don't get me wrong. He was being very nice. Still breaking the rules. Still very nice. Uh, I definitely should not have... Well, I shouldn't have blocked. Maybe, I, I don't know. I could have done things differently. I never responded to him, first of all. I never responded to him just because I was dealing with all the stuff yesterday. I'm having a whole bunch of excuses. Anyways, the point of this here, Flank, my bad. Uh, and I guess if you guys join the Discord, just know there are rules in the Discord. I try to be very lenient with stuff. I'm very... Nice. I, I would say I'm nice most of the time. If you're in my streams, you probably know know my vibes. If you're not in my streams, you can probably hop in and learn my vibes. But I'm very chill. Uh, as long as you don't like be some, do do something stupid, then you'll be fine. Anyways, Flank, my bad. Uh, I think he left the Discord after I, I timed him out for a week, which I guess is understandable. But hey, you're you're welcome back with open arms. 
my, my bad. Just, you know, look, just read the rules next time. That's all I'm saying. Just read, just read the rules. Just read the rules. I, I spent time making the rules, you know? Okay. Anyways, that was a whole little tangent. What, what are we doing there? Oh, so hey, if y'all haven't noticed by this point, I, I, I have face. Hey, I'm Matt. Uh, and I'm another Matt. I make YouTube videos. <laughs> Yeah, I have a face. I, I have a face. Crazy on my streams. I've been starting to do more face cam stuff, uh, and more gags and more more jokes alongside it. And I do think it does add a like a layer of, not coolness. That's a fucking stupid way to say it. A layer of like more uniqueness to my streams and therefore my videos. In my opinion, I know the idea going forward is most likely I won't have my cameras on in videos. I figured for this video here, since it's more personal and more of me just talking to you and giving an update about the channel that i can have my camera on be one to one with you guys i know i showed my face before in like the 10k sub special uh it was more towards the end or more in the middle so people already kind of know what i look like uh but in case you don't hey this is what i look like uh did i live up to your dreams i i without i didn't i like subconsciously thought of dream and said it anyways what am I doing? Anyways, face cam videos, it's just it's just what it is. Uh, I'll do maybe sometimes, and obviously nothing guaranteed. If y'all hop in my streams, I'll, I'll definitely be showing my face a lot more. One thing to note, like the green screen I have here is very shitty. It's a blanket, and I have like a stupid lamp in front of me, so there's a dumb shadow. Uh, I literally ordered new equipment today, which should hopefully be showing up later today. That's partially why I waited so long to make this video, because I wanted to get that equipment in first. But if I feel like I waited that long, then the video would never happen. So I'm going the jank route with this equipment. Uh, but if you hop on my streams, most likely tonight, Friday night, uh, maybe around 7 or 8 p.m. Central Time, I will be live. I'll have some new equipment set up uh, so that it won't look like garbage. And I have a lot of bits in mind in terms of what to do with the new equipment I got. Because I do think it's very stupid. I do think it will be very funny. Uh, but yeah, come check out my streams. I plugged it so many times, but I do enjoy my streams. I think people are enjoying my streams. There are still a few funny clips around if y'all want to check them out. Anyways, uh, boom, 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 boom. Oh, one thing to mention here in the video. Well, watch this, watch this. Hold on, hold on, watch it, watch it, watch this. Did y'all see it? Did, did you see the cut? Cause motherfucker, I lied to all of you. <laughs> this is not one normal run. This is a, a I literally died on Hush maybe five or six times. What you're seeing right now is me like splicing it together like a fucking cheating speedrunner where y'all don't know that I cut the video together. I cut the shit out of this video, okay? I did it like five, I did Hush like five or six times. I could not beat him. Like he did some weird wacky ass patterns where like he shot the tears out, he sucked them back in. I wasn't ready for that. And then the continuum tears. Anyways, I sucked and I'm con I, I like, I'm admitting it to you guys. So we're like, we're being real right now. I would never lie to you chat or stream or YouTube video. I don't know. I don't know the word for you guys anymore. What do I call my audience? Another, I think in my Discord, I have like another plum. So I guess you're, you're, you're plums. Is that cool with you guys? Are you cool being plums? I hope so, because that's what you are. Uh, anyway, so that that was kind of the, the updates I have. Now, I do know I posted a community post for me today. For y'all yesterday on Thursday, on February 1st, I did post a community thing asking you guys to give me some questions and I'll kind of go through and answer them. Uh, just if y'all are more curious about who I am or kind of like anything like that. So I have a few questions on my on my phone here I'll be going through. Uh, so one thing here, uh, question by GJ Gaming. What niche within YouTube or to be more specific, Isaac, do you plan to carve yourself out to be? Will you continue with the rankings and the trivia style videos in the future? Will you be Isaac exclusive? Uh, so this is kind of an uh, answer or question I answered before. Uh, but the whole idea is kind of to stay within the niche of Isaac, at least on this YouTube channel for now. The overall goal for me, to be honest, is to not stay within Isaac forever. Obviously, I know the YouTube game in and of itself is to have a niche. Stick within your niche and grow within that niche until people like your content or like you as a personality yourself, that they are willing to not only watch you for the original niche you were in, but as you slowly start branching off into other niches, they still watch your stuff. Because starting out right, if you post a lot of videos within several different niches, then YouTube itself does not know who to give your video to out to watch to. Because if I post an Isaac video one week, and then a vlog of me going to New York next week, I like 99% of y'all will not watch the vlog of me going to New York, because that's not the content I'm known to make. So whenever people don't watch that video, YouTube knows not to push it out to anyone because the normal people who are stuck to my channel don't like watching it. So it won't push it out to any new audience as well either. So the idea here is to stay within the Isaac niche, 
and maybe slowly, very, very slowly branch off with either my streaming content or maybe one-off videos every, every now and then that is kind of related to Isaac, but maybe entails a different kind of niche or a different game that I want to be playing. Um, and I can kind of slowly morph my channel into something more, or if needed, I can make a separate channel to post like stream content and stuff so people who like me as a person and like my kind of content with Isaac, but also like watching my streams, they can go over there to watch something different. Anyways, that, that, that being said, that's my general idea. He also asked about if I was going to stay doing the quizzes, doing the tier list. Yeah, I'm going to be staying doing that for now. Um, I do hope to think of more ideas <laughs> in terms of what to do for like Isaac content after I run out of ideas for tier list, since those are so finite. And then after I kind of do the, the quizzes for so long, obviously I know people will get tired of it. So I need to either switch up how the quizzes are run or just do something a bit different. And my general idea is to do more types of game shows, if that makes sense. So I know I already did one with uh, Lonslow and his crew. Uh, Lonslow and Finn and Wesley. Um, I'm being quizzed right now. The fourth Lonslow member, I'm so sorry. I, I don't mean to forget about you. <laughs> Sam. Sam. Gotcha. Uh, but anyways, the, I already did like a Jeopardy style video with them. Uh, but I wanted to kind of do more Isaac stuff with different game shows. Like Wheel of Fortune, I think would be very funny. Uh, I've been thinking about other making other stuff too, like... Uh, I don't want to list them all because everyone's going to steal the ideas because I know. Uh, ew, come on. Hello. <laughs> but yeah, I have other ideas to do out there, but they will be within the Isaac niche. Uh, what else is there? What was your SAT score? I literally have no idea. I forget. It was like something average. I was very average. Like, I'm average intelligence, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, that question was by 50 Boiled Cabbages 64. Okay, thank you. <laughs> all right, next one here by Angel. Okay, by Angel. Long ass name, but Angel. Uh, what other YouTubers are you possibly going to collab with? Uh, right now, there's nothing set in stone. I have not reached out to anybody new just yet. I have not verified with anybody if I'm going to be collabing with them. Also, I just got Polyphemus. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I have not heard of anybody. Well, not, not heard of anybody, but I, I haven't heard back from anybody just yet. I'm reaching out to a few different people. I don't want to say their names just because if I do say their names, there is an expectation that they will be on. And I don't want to get people's hopes up for getting a certain creator, a certain content creator on and they end up not making it to the show. So, I don't want to say just yet. I do have a few people in mind. If y'all were on my stream the other day, I kind of got y'all's ideas as to what content creators y'all would like to see. Um, but again, it's it's nothing set in stone just yet, but I do have a few in mind. Uh, next one up here by Arthur Prado. Uh, are there any other roguelikes you're into besides Isaac? Not really. I know I don't... Right now, I don't really play a lot of games in general. <laughs> like I said before, I don't really have the time to do things besides playing Isaac... Uh, making YouTube videos, streaming, and then doing work. Now that I have a bit more time, maybe I'll get into some other games at this point. I know I've been wanting to play Power World. Not a roguelike at all. Um, but maybe I'll get into those. I know a while back I loved to play Slay the Spire. Love that game so much. I have not played it any time recently. Uh, but I guess Slay the Spire is an answer. Uh, but I haven't really played much else besides that. I tried to play Enter the Gungeon. It wasn't really for me. In my opinion, I only have the, the space in my heart for one roguelike game. And right now that's Isaac. Uh, so until Isaac dies, uh, we're sticking with Isaac. <laughs> All right, next one here by Ethan Pereria. I think I said that right. Uh, do you always spare Baby Plum? No. Uh, listen, Baby Plum, fantastic. I'm Fruity Plum, all right? I, I am I am a, another Matt Plum, okay? <laughs> I will kill him most likely every time because as fun as the Plum Flute is, it's not that good. It's not that good. Unless and, unless you saw that one run where I had like 9 volt and 4.5 volt and all the other volts where like they charge your battery faster and I could get out a million of plums in a room. It's great in that point, uh, but everywhere else it's not that good. Uh, question here by CatFGC. Is there any plan to bring variety content onto the channel? Uh, I went over that as well. Uh, but again, if y'all are interested in anything regarding variety content at all, let me know. Uh, and if you have specific ideas for what you would want to see, I'm very open to ideas. Obviously, not too sure if that'll make it. Most likely, the ideas will start off all with stream and see how things go on stream. And then if they turn out to do well, if people like it enough, then maybe I'll convert it into a video. But again, it's very dependent on what y'all want to see and kind of what I enjoy making. So, we'll see. Uh, let's see. What other games do you play besides Isaac? Right now, really nothing. <laughs> uh, I don't really play mobile games. I don't play other games. If anything, I, I just kind of watch shows on TV. I watch some anime. I, I That's about it. I play Isaac, and then <laughs> that's really about it. Honestly, that's really about it right now. <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying. I'm so sorry. What did I just get? Oh, I, got, I found an Arky. Guys, I found an Arky. I forgot to react. Again, this is pre-recorded. I'm not doing this live. I'm just kind of watching the video while I'm reading this stuff off. 
Uh, question by Mama Krita. Who's the Isaac content god? Uh, Northern Lion. It's always gonna be Northern Lion. He is the OG that started everything. He got every- he got literally everybody into playing Isaac. He is the OG content god. Uh, that is my answer. Uh, Joshua Kunai? Uh, can, can I? I don't know how to say that name. I know, uh, Josh, I'm sub to you. Okay, I'm sub to you. That should be enough. I don't know how to say your last name or the last bit of your name. Joshua. Anyways, I pressed R key. Uh, but, but hold on. You asked, do you wear wigs? I don't wear wigs. Do you have, have you worn wigs? No. Will you wear wigs? No. Uh, when will you wear wigs? Never. Okay. And boys, I'm going to wrap up the questions there. If you have any other questions for me, uh, hop on my Discord. I'm very, I'm very, there's a lot of stuff going on in the background right now. Uh, but if y'all want to hop in the Discord, let me know any other questions y'all have. Um, because, listen, I'm, I'm very active in my Discord. If y'all are curious about anything, I'm pretty much an open book. Uh, come hop in my streams. Come say what's up. Uh, that's really the, the, where y'all can see me the most. I, if anything, I, honestly, guys, thanks for watching the video. Y y there will be a reason. Uh, like, there's a reason I'm wrapping up right now. Because I'm remembering the, this run I had. And it does not ma last much longer. Spoilers. Uh, but really, if y'all enjoy the content, if y'all like what I make, just... The, the best thing y'all can do to support me here is literally just to watch the videos. I know obviously since I'm going part-time with my job, I'm making a bit less. So it's a bit stressful to me to make sure I'm making ends meet. I do have a lot of saved up, so I should be perfectly fine. But if y'all feel the need to support the channel, obviously there are ways to do so. The best way, in my opinion, just watch the videos. Just make sure you're subscribed and watch the videos. That's that's honestly the best way to support me and myself. If y'all want to go above and beyond, there's ways to become channel members to view some stuff early. Or there's ways for you to sub over on Twitch if y'all enjoy this stuff over there. Again, not necessary at all. But if y'all want to support me, I appreciate it. Anyways, I just died. That was something stupid. But hey, you guys, it really, thanks for watching. Uh, I will see y'all next week with hopefully a cooler video. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.